In this session, we're going to be talking about who are English language learners and immigrants. My name is Schiller Ambrose, and I'm your teacher coach. English language learners are students who are unable to communicate fluently or learn effectively in English, who often come from non-English speaking homes and backgrounds. They may be referred to as English language learners, including English learners or ELs, limited English proficient or LEP students, non-native English speakers, language minority students, and either bilingual students or emerging bilingual students. They can be born in the US but dominant in a language other than English. Or they can be born abroad and brought to the US at an early age. They may differ in social economic status or academic background. According to the Immigration and Naturalization Act, an immigrant is any alien who has entered the US except those under a non-immigrant visa category. It includes anyone who has a willingness to permanently settle in the U.S. and is not in the U.S. on a temporary or non-immigrant visa, or visitor's visa, student visa, or work visa, etc. If we look at this map, it tells us that immigrants to the U.S. come from many different countries, from India, Canada, Philippines, Ethiopia, Vietnam, El Salvador, Dominican Republic, China. So for example, in Texas, the most dominant immigrant group is from India. And then if we look at Oklahoma, right above Texas, that population is mostly from Vietnam. In California, in California, immigrants mostly come from the Philippines. In Montana, Idaho, Utah, and Arizona, they come from Canada. Let's come over to the east. In New Jersey, immigrants mainly come from India. In New York, the immigrants mostly come from the Dominican Republic. And then if we look at Massachusetts, the immigrants there are mostly from China. So as you can see, immigration to the U.S. comes from many different places around the world. 